Hey, it's Mark from Ripple Training. You're a Final Cut Pro editor, and you need to produce video and motion graphics in multiple aspect ratios for social media platforms. How do you do it efficiently? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So here we are in Final Cut, and I've got some clips on a timeline, and it looks like it's a 69 timeline. The way you can tell for sure, if I go to the File menu and choose Reveal Project in Browser, or Option Shift F, it will select that project that is open and we can see over in the inspector that is a 1920 by 1080 30p uh, 16 9 project so i also need to export this project for various social media platforms in different aspect ratios for instance one to one or nine to sixteen how can you do that well one option is you go to the file menu and choose new project and then choose custom settings and then for video choose custom and then you can input your custom settings. For example, if you wanted nine by 16 instead of 16, nine, I could enter 1080 by 1920. And I would get that format. From here, you could copy paste your clips into this project. Now, rather than doing this every time, what I recommend is that you create a set of template projects to work from. So you can see, I actually have a library called aspect ratios. And in it, I've created a set of template projects in various aspect ratios. So I've got 16.9. I've also got a 1280 by 720 version for Facebook. I've got an Instagram vertical at uh, 1.9 to 1, an Instagram square at 1 to 1, and Instagram stories at 9 to 16, which would also work for Facebook stories. And I've created all these in advance and thrown them in a library so that whenever I need them, I don't need to create them from scratch again. For example, Let's say I want to create a 9 to 16 version of the project we're just looking at. I will drag this one into my library here, say OK, and here it is to use. Now, if the time code base is incorrect, you can go to Modify. I've set it for 30p for default, and it looks like you can't change it, but you can. All you have to do is click off of Custom to something else, go back to Custom. It'll remember the same aspect ratio that's set, and now you can choose different time codes. Now, you can only do this when it's empty, not once you have content in it, but we'll set the right time code for this project. Let's say it's 2398, say OK. We'll jump back to my original project, select all, copy it, go forward in the timeline history and paste it into my 9x16 project. What I can then do is select all the clips in the video inspector, under Spatial Conform, change the type from Fit to Fill. And now all my clips will fill this aspect ratio. By default, they'll be right in the center of the frame. Uh, you can change it very easily in the inspector. You can move the position, in this case with X, left or right, to reframe as needed. And in fact, you could even set keyframes to move that position over time if you needed to. Often it will be probably be good the way it is, especially if you've shot with an eye towards delivering on different platforms so you've kind of protected the center of the frame. So you're set to go. You've got a set of pre-configured templates to drop your clips into. And that's really part one, is to speed up that process to have a set of ready-to-go timelines. The second has to do with motion graphics. So if I go back to my original 16 by 9 project, you'll see I've got a little title in here. I'll play it. It's a little title created in motion, and it matches this aspect ratio. If we go to our new 9x16 and I play that title, we can see uh, it doesn't fit anymore. The text doesn't fit, and the motion graphics are off the screen. You could adjust this here in Final Cut. For instance, you can move this text around and change the font uh, and adjust it that way. Um, and in fact, if we go back to my original project, you'll see that I have published for this particular template the, um, some parameters. So you can adjust these uh, little emitters here. You could change the colors. And you could publish the position of this so you could move it over. But I suggest a different approach called snapshots. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Titles. And here's that title that I added to the project. I'll right click and choose Open in Motion. And here's where I created it in Motion. And what we can do is select the project, go to the inspector, and go to snapshots. On the default, we have this single snapshot for this project. I'm going to create a new one, and I'm going to choose custom. 
and I'm going to make this exactly 9 by 16, so 1080 by 1920. And once again, things aren't right, just like they were in Final Cut, but here's the cool thing. If I click on Edit Snapshot, I'm now in what's called Rig Edit Mode, and any changes I make will only affect the snapshot. So for example, I'll select both of these lines of text and bring the font size down. And then maybe I'll select the second line and bring it up. Then I'll select that emitter that's off the screen and bring it over. I'll right click, choose the emitter, and change the size of it. Reposition a little more like that. Then I'll choose Stop Rig Edit Mode and Save. Now, if I select the project, you can see I have a custom snapshot and I can switch between them and all of my text, all of my motion graphics automatically resize for that snapshot. And I can create snapshots for any different aspect ratio that I need. And here's the cool thing. Let me save that and go back to Final Cut. And if we go to our 9x16 project and I replace this now with this version, I'll just drag it right on top and choose Replace from Start, and it immediately reconfigures to perfectly match this aspect ratio. So once you've set up snapshots on your motion graphics, any project you drop them in, if you set up a snapshot for that particular aspect ratio, it will automatically conform for it. And of course, you still have any other controls that you may have published. So the two parts of this are number one, to create separate template projects for different aspect ratio deliverables for social platforms. And number two is to use Motion's snapshot feature to allow your motion graphics to automatically adapt to those snapshots. Now here's a couple resources for you. If you don't know what aspect ratios to use, this website, influencermarketinghub.com, here's a specific URL, gives a very good overview of different aspect ratios that you can use for different social media platforms. So I highly recommend checking this out to choose the ones that you need for your own deliverables. Number two, if you wanna learn how to use motion beyond just creating snapshots, but how to actually create motion graphics in motion, Ripple Training is a place to go. So I've created a, many tutorials here. If you go to Tutorials and Ripple Training under Motion, we have a variety of motion content to help you learn how to use motion to create these motion graphics. So definitely recommend uh, checking all these out.